Welcome back to another app, crap, crap app episode, episode two. So today's episode, I'm gonna show you how when these games where you gotta combine items together and keep on combining them, um, when you're able to collect a lot of points on there, I'll show you a trick. Because since every time you buy an item, it goes up in price. So what I did was I didn't buy the the uh, cheap items basically. That way, I can buy them all now. So first, let's start off by getting rid of this. Oops. Getting rid of this. And then, buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. We'll get ten of them. Now, we can get, oh wait, we don't need to get rid of that one to just match it. See? Now, should, I hope this works. But what I'm thinking that's going to work is like it'll help me keep on going to level up. And with other games like this, you basically you do the same thing. Oh, oh, almost hit a dead end. Yeah, see? It's working. And I think I could still buy 10 more. Now, of course, it's not going to get me, you know, a rare item. I don't think, dang, I, now I did run out of room. It's a really bad idea. It's lucky I want to see, because I feel like since there's only like 3,000 people on the leaderboard there, I, and I'm already like ranked 500, I feel like I could get top 100 rank on that game before I quit it. That's why I keep playing it. So let's check out this game. The Pill Defense game. And... This one, I saved up a lot of unlocks for us to do. So let's do that. Fire damage, we don't even have. Oh wait, we just now unlocked the fire pillow. So might as well get that. Um, slow duration. Attack. The way it keeps going up. And then I still got 22k though. Uh, slow duration again. Critical damage chance. A freeze du duration. Stun duration. Yeah, because the blue ones are really good to get. Sure. Attack when frozen. And extra points of these so I can keep on unlocking these. Alright. Now I get these. Alright. Let's let me level these up. This game it's fun. But there's just so much you gotta do. Like I gotta level up them over there, now I gotta level them up over here. Like and it's not even that fun doing this random will thing. You save up. Oop wait, that might have been a good one. I guess when it makes that sound it's a good one. Or maybe because I didn't skip it. I have a chance to. See, now I gotta go through all this and just. Oof. Yeah, I don't know about this game. But I mean, it's fun, so. And now I gotta start scrolling down because I'm getting new soldiers. Sheesh. Look at that, I didn't even upgrade it all the way. Great. Okay, let's play a game. Start off with the laser pill. And thing is, it's like their enemies get so hard to kill. It's like, like, okay. I gotta get a kill in order to upgrade again. Look how long, and not, if they get to that red bar, they get to start attacking. Oh, that was a pretty funny ad, I'm not gonna lie. I, have, so I should have recorded that one. She was like, this this app has a live stream of everything. Show me a live stream of puppies. Her friend shows her live stream of puppies. It's like, all right, show me a live stream of my favorite game. She shows her a live stream of her favorite game. And then she says quickly, all right, show me a live stream of your ex-boyfriend dancing. And the girl was about to show her. She's like, oh, wait, I don't want to show you that one. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? And they're like, yeah, this really does have live stream for everything. I get what they're applying, but... <laughs> 
pretty funny head. This is the first time I got to use this fire. Oh, snap. Heck yeah. I just got that last night and I didn't get to see it yet. That's crazy awesome. I thought it would just catch them on fire. Oh, look at that. Basically nukes them. Kaboom. Let's add some. The red laser now could do a little explosive too. Now we got a tank going on here. Still not strong enough. Look, see how strong they are? Like how I'm barely, I'm about to die. Because they won't kill fast enough. I need this. Even if I did like, it didn't matter what kind of upgrades I did. I'd have to use all the little help I could do. Kill Fortress on the mobile app. I'm going to rate that uh, da, 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 6 out of 10. This is a, a tower defense game right here. I think I'm trying to make it focus. There we go. No, there we don't go. I think I got it now. So I'm on level 2 right now. I didn't want to finish the level because every time you finish the level, what's with that? Every time you finish the level, so I can do this, I can throw grenades. When I get to these bases, I usually just use a fire flame torch. Feels like it's the strongest thing. Look at that. Hasta la vista. I think you gotta aim it though when you use it. So, but really, what's with that? Like, dang. Nope, I got one more flame torch for you all. My bad, I'm not trying to get the way. Oh no. I think that's it for it. Yeah. Dead. Game. But the problem is, is like with most games, what was it like here? What? Why is it like it like that? Whoa. Okay, there we go, lag I thought I was tripping. <laughs> um, but, like I was saying, my bad. Uh, with most uh, new games out there on the mobile, it's like every time you beat a level, you gotta restart from the basic character and re-upgrade them over and over again. That is very time consuming. And you know what? I understand they do that, they be time consuming. But the thing is, it's like, it's very boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, at least you can upgrade the main character in the game. That's a, and some some games you can't even upgrade the main character. Like upgrade the main character don't work. But like you just have to sit there and uh, like in the first episode I showed you all that little war game. I think I actually have it. Nah, I got rid of it. That's right. In the last episode, that was the last time I played it. Because it was so time consuming. It was like... It's an interesting... You know, it's cool. It's the thing... The cool thing is if you do put the time in them, you get to see these awesome upgrades, you know? Like, it goes from wacky, the futuristic, the, you know, untelling what you're gonna get next. But the thing is, you gotta put so much time into them. And, like, for a good probably two days while you're playing these games you're stuck on these boring okay now if you play two game uh, games two days straight if you do that then you're gonna be right there um, but still you're gonna feel like you know you wasted a lot of time on these games because that's what it basically is we need more games that are less time wasting and more leveling up the leveling up parts good and the upgrading parts good but the thing is it's the the lane parts like all right reset it's a rebirth thing all right here's the thing uh when i used to play games and they brought that rebirth idea into the games i hated it right away i hated it so much that like if whenever they had in the game and if i didn't have to i didn't use it i know even they had it in call of duty you know speaking of call of duty, here waiting for world at war 2 lobby to load in Call of Duty, they call it prestige, and you got to level 60, you prestige, and you restart all over. Of course, you'd get like a, I think a camo, or you get like probably faster upgrading, but the, with, that's with Call of Duty, okay? <laughs> with the free games, you didn't really have uh, much of an upgrade as that much, you know? You would probably get like camo, or maybe a new outfit, but that was about it. Then you'd have to just basically start over start from level zero to back to however and the good the, 
the thing I'm glad though for is that in a lot of games you are able to continue playing without having to prestige, without having to um, uh, rebirth. Even in Call of Duty, I prestiged twice, and that was it for me. Honestly, like it's crazy because I'm such a good, you know, zombies player. But when it comes down to it, in a multiplayer. Like, after prestiging twice, that felt like hard work to do. And so I was like, yeah, no, that's stupid. Like, just sit there and have to... I, I mean, I understand why it's fun for a lot of people because the game might be too easy for them. To me, the game multiplayer is not as easy as zombies, you know? So I'm not going to sit there and restart over and over when I got everything unlocked and make it all locked again just to get unlocked, it, you know? Ooh, you, you prestige 15 times? Cool, you know? Honestly, for the people that did do that, which my little brother is one of them, that is pretty cool. I wish I wish I was able to do that, but the thing is, the highest I got to was on Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2. I got the Prestige 3, but after that, I was like, I ain't doing this, never. And the thing is, is because I got the camo I wanted unlocked, I was ready to go, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let me take a break to stop being something. So this next game is Tool. Evolution. I think it's a brand new game, honestly. Probably just came out this week. Not sure. First time I've seen it. But of course, like every other game, build here. I'm trying to. There we go. Alright, we got a porch. Now on the ad, it showed once you build that. Wait, maybe I'll do it now. Okay, what? On that, it showed like he expanded like twice, the, three times the size of that. What am I supposed to do? If I go out of bounds, I die. See? Oh, snap. What am I... Oh, I can't get that. Um, oh, here we go. I'm supposed to just wait around for... Well, it looked so much faster on the ad. And then it showed like if you had it full... What would do if you grab more than even if they you can hold, um, you would just evolve to the next tool. That's not happening. See, when it's full, it doesn't evolve to the next tool. It just makes me go back here. Add scan me. Okay, here we got the the food, the meat, the meat boss. What is this game? No way, so this is going to take forever. That if, I thought it would be a fast-paced game. That's why I got it. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to give this a low rating. What? I need the next tool to get that. I bet the dinosaurs they showed on that attack. <laughs> like, as soon as the dinosaurs show up, I'm like, okay, cool. I could at least hunt the dinosaurs now. And the next thing you know, they start attacking. Let's, let me give me some time with this one. Oops. Oh man, it just flew away. There's a dragon there, and I I don't know if I could have fought it or not, but I could have got to it. See, probably wouldn't be able to keep on fighting it. Well, that's why I upgrade that spot too, huh? Okay. At least you know. That shows, like, if I can upgrade that spot and this spot. Oh, they want us to do the crates here. All right. What do we got? That? Oh. I don't trust the game ad even. Look at this game ad. That's crazy. They said, oh, it's a game we don't have to play diamonds for. I read the reviews on that game. They said they had $60 for one season of, like, 20 uh, short clip episodes, one minute episodes each. Sixty dollars. Holy crap. Yeah, you don't pay with diamonds because you don't collect them. You pay with actual cash, I guess. At least that's what the ad was referring to. Then their feedback said, you know, oh, we're trying to fix this problem. Just make it a lower price. Don't try, do. It's weird apps going around and like, you know, basically some are actually scamming their users. Um, it's pretty funny to see their replies to their comments, you know, they, because they can leave review comments and when they, when these uh, users that feel like, you know, it was a waste of time playing the game, leave us a comment, they, they usually reply back with the same reply if they feel like replying to it. Oh, we'll try to fix the problem. We'll 
update the problem for you, whatever that is. Sometimes they even try to straight up lie and say, we'll fix the problem just for you. Like they're going to go on their account, fix that thing, then for everyone else, they're going to have to deal with the problem still. Or it doesn't make much sense to me. But that's why this series is called Bad Apps and Not Good Apps, you know what I'm saying? Do not want the game with, look at that. That's three times I had to press X. Oh, very funny. Okay, so this game, then I have more or is that just one? It's not enough. Huh. I could have opened that crate sooner, but, cause before it was like at, it was just at the price of how many gems I had. And like, finally it was like, I already opened the crate. I don't know. Maybe it does that too. Let you get a better upgrade. I hope so, but I doubt so. It's level two, you get a knife. A funny looking knife. What could be in this prime chest? Ooh, just watching that? Okay. That's only going to take 30 seconds. I hope that didn't just give me a deal or something. Like, oh, you don't get an item, but. Hey, don't I got it now? Was that really just a deal or what? In this game, two out of ten. Tool evolution. Yeah. Some of these games just be like that sometimes. They just don't work out. Even at the beginning. The show this uh tower defense game. I think we already actually played it. T D S Tower something. But um it's a pretty cool game. It just feels a little bit repetitive, I'm not gonna lie there. My bad about the camera view. I'm looking at the screen, not the camera. Okay, so this is boss mode. Um let's upgrade the flame torch. Heck, let's get another box in there. And oh dang I can't do the machine gun too much. Oh, we'll upgrade the defense to this one. I don't think it'll help much. We'll see. See how it goes. Oh, let me turn up, by the way. Shoot the saw blade. So I'm going to get one. Defense, there we go. Throw some grenades. So this is boss mode, you just keep playing this, and once again it's just, you gotta start from the beginning, ranking up your character. Now this is level 2, I got to the Mystic Forest. Let's see, I'll upgrade, let's do the flame torch down here, as much as I can. Then I'll upgrade the box to second health with the shock laser, can we change here? Sell duplicates. Upgrade the shotgun. Upgrade the suit. No. Let's upgrade the hat. No. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Let's get. As long as we can keep the scarf moving to the. Well, there's missions. Complete low. Oh, yeah. You gotta complete the whole level. That means getting through all that. Okay. This is where the flame torch comes in. Boom. It's gone. Uh oh. Time for the flame torch. Refocus. Don't worry, I'm looking to the camera this time. But you guys get a good view. Flame torch. It's a barbecue monster time. And barbecues. I said barbecue stew. 
massacre barbecue thing. Not even that green long legs had a chance. The thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. I think it's gone. I think we got this. Uh oh. As soon as I said that, I think I just jinxed myself. Oh, there's a grenade tech. Dang, even the grenades aren't helping. I need to wait for that flame torch again. Uh oh, this is bad. Ooh, we got stuck here. Let's see. Level 2. Right there. If you pass this part, let me know. What kind of other levels they got on here? Come on, George. I think if I had the energy going up faster, I probably could have done it. I should have upgraded the energy instead of um, the power. Oh, I hate this. Look at this, it's a fake X button. See that? There's two X buttons now. I always think that fake X button is a real one. It's not. But yeah, we should have upgraded the energy here. See, now we can basically beat it. I guess I'll show you all at level 3 next episode, probably. I don't know, probably even... You know what, no, I'm gonna just promise level 3 because honestly this game is... Like I said, it's like those lame games where it's, um, you gotta restart. Every time you get to the next level, restart from the beginning. Like, they don't mean like... I had to buy the boxes again. Just like how I showed you how I was doing the boss battle. Bought the box, whatever. Oof, uh, you know, it's very time consuming. That's the problem with it. They need to fit focus more on the fun factor and less on the oh let's see how long we can get the users to play the game for because I think the the players would rather have more fun than time put in the game honestly these games I think the creators here have to realize these games aren't paid for games okay if it was a paid for game that makes sense you got no ads so of course you want it don't matter if you put time in a lot of time into the game but if it's a free game, you got ads, and then you slowly, slowly upgrade. Yeah, it's a cool, like if you do put a lot of time in it eventually, but the thing is, it's gonna take so much time, like you're gonna get bored with it. I know this because um, I used to play that, well I still do play, uh, Animation Throwdown. It's a cartoon card game. They use uh, four cartoons on um, American Dad, Family Guy, Futurama, Archer, and King of the Hill, well I guess five car cartoons, but still, like when I first played it, I played it for three or four years, got my, you know, I was very leveled up, I was almost with the pros, the next thing I know, I got bored of it because it became repetitive, and it became like more, I had to log in every day, and I could only play for like, you know, each hour for th each three hours basically, because I had to wait for the energy to uh, recover, and because of that, it made me quit the game for like five, six years. Now I'm playing it again, and this time I'm making sure I play it on my computer. That way I can save it in case it happens again where I get to a high level. I'm just like, this is too boring to keep playing. I need a break from it. And now I can actually save it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, these kind of games, you can't expect a player to want to put as much time as they want, uh, as they can into it, like they would with a PlayStation, Xbox, or a computer game. You know what I'm saying? Like, for like, check it out. Let's go show the games on my computer. As for an example, but check this out. Okay, Left 4 Dead 2, I put 800 hours into that game. That makes sense. That's a really fun game to play, especially online. Now you got Cubic Castles. That's the number two game I've mostly played. That's 600, almost 700 hours. Um, yeah, 10, 10 or 5 hours away, or 4 hours away for 700 hours. But anyways, the funny thing about that is that's a free that's a free game right there. So basically that would count as a mobile game because it is a mobile game. You can play Cupid Castles on mobile. And honestly, you probably won't be see me playing it on this uh, series because it's a good game. Like, it, and it's... I consider it more 
Um, we're trying to find games that are just mobile, not both, you know. Uh, because we already know the games that are both, like from the computer to the phone, they're going to be good games. Like if you bought Grand Theft Auto on the phone, that's going to be fun. I have played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the uh, iPod Touch, and I was able to beat it. It was so fun. And then even GTA uh, 3 or I forget which. Either way, Vice City maybe? I don't know. But either way, like, yeah, I was able to play and I was able to have fun because it was a good game already. I want to try out the mobile games. Now, here's another funny thing. Loon's Tower Defense 6. Now, in my defense, <laughs> because that's a mobile game too, but in my defense, it started on the computer before it was a mobile game. Also, I had to pay for that game. I had to pay five bucks for that game. And I think you have to pay for it on mobile too. Uh, but actually got a game called Happy Escape Tycoon Idol Games. That's a lot. Tycoon Idol Escape Games. Well, realizing their games are so bad you want to escape from them. I mean, at least I got that down. Some of these games are so different than the actual game itself. Like, look at that. Tycoon game. Doesn't look like anything from the edge we just watched. See? Came in. <sighs> look at this. Skip. Nope. Skip. Finally, it works. What's that for? 50 gold. Okay. So, this is a different game. This is called Sum Lucky Summon. And. Let's see. I think this is pretty funny, the little animation they got. I just gotta find it first. I almost couldn't find it. It's a recruit here. So in order to get the upgrades here. Oh, I can't even see where I'm clicking. And see, whoever gets past. They have like a little springs block. Um, baseball player there. Bang, bang. Dang, you got rid of the epic. Yeah, but it still makes it a little bit more fun, honestly. We got the tiger monster, though. What's a tiger monster? I don't know. But it's in our arsenal and upgraded, so. So apparently, this game works like that first game I showed you where you match the three. Uh, not three. You match the two symbols, match them again, and match those two symbols. You know, you keep it's a combination tower defense game. That's what this is, but it's uh, player versus player, and it's honestly really hard to play, I think. Like, you have to be really good at tower defense and, and skill games, so let's upgrade before we go buying. So I got the choice of summon, upgrade, do some lucky. Heck, I'm going to do some lucky. Let's go with 60%. Oh, I don't have that. <laughs> I can't do no lucky. So once you get three of them, you can upgrade them. Then you gotta move them around like so. Oh, he's gonna get past. Oof. Maybe you wanna upgrade again. Come on, stay alive. I should be a lot better at this game, but I'm not. No, I not really sure how to get this guy. I guess I got with those three that they show above him. I know one of them, you gotta upgrade them. Like so. This new guy, this is a tiger monster. All right, not bad. Dang, really not bad, it's going in hard. Okay. Merge that, bam. Turn that into an arrow. I know it's weird that how did the melee person turn into an arrow? I don't, know. I don't really know how they, their logic works with this upgrading. That's why I think that's why I always die on this. I know it sounds like an excuse, and it kind of is. Also, I can't. Like it's hard to keep on moving them around.
I'm sure eventually, if I figure out, I know like, okay, so these little tank guys, they'll slow them down. Got that bomb effect. Now it's like whoever kills the boss for their boss first wins. Okay, so we just gotta follow them. You'd assume. Oops. Can't I can't make that. Oof. I might got it. I think I got lower. Yeah. Come on, come on, go, go. Oh. Look at this, I had the melee in the middle. Oh, bam, we did it. Game over. We did it, but they still got more kills than us, so like one, they got 55%, we got 45%. The ha 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 man, so if you play this game, and if you come across the ha ha man, well that's me. And get ready for a strong battle. Okay, maybe not that strong, but still. So, hmm. It's this game, Lucky Defense. And I'm going to rate it 4 out of 10. Because I'm a fan of tower defense games. And that's pretty clever for a free game, honestly. Also, it's not a 3 out of 10, a 4 out of 10. Because, um, it's multiplayer too. You know, you got the player versus player. Now, I could be wrong. It could You could be versing bots. That's the problem with new these new free games uh, out there is that you might not even be facing off with new like real people if like they might not have any players playing at the time so what they do is they throw in bots now this isn't just for mobile games but even big uh, companies could do this too and have done this in the past when their game dies from the multiplayer play like when there's only like let's say seven to fifteen pl people playing and they got like 10 different game modes well sometimes they'll throw in bots now the successful ones never do that of course because they know eh, like all their players are playing the newest game but with a lot of games it happens to be like that it just is and honestly I find that very boring so the fact that you're playing off or playing against real per people at least what I think the names are kind of making me think maybe it could be, you know, fake people. But then again, maybe it could be people that haven't changed their name yet and they went with the basic, you know, name that they were given when they started playing the game. But either way, I think it's way more fun to play against someone than against a bot. And especially when they're trying to claim it as a real person and it's a bot, it's like, they it's straight up calling us stupid, the players. So, yeah. The Lucky Defense, I'll give a 4 out of 10. So it's decent, but I don't want to waste my time on that either. It's like a, it's such a, it's like a 2003 computer online game, you know. The graphics are lame, the, the only one map, the square map, that's lame. Uh, you gotta pay for, pay to play most of it, you know. In fact, it really does deserve a 3 out of 10, but because, you know, it's kind of a fun idea, it gets an extra point. That's just what it is. Anyways, lucky defense, you weren't lucky enough to make it to the next episode. Just how it is. <laughs> Your luck is out. Boom. See, for the final game, I could show you all. We could either go with a think game I think is pretty fun, or a game I think is pretty weird. We'll see. Make your bets. I'm gonna let you all guess which one, I, which one, which one I go go with. Left or right? Left or right? All right. You got four seconds left. Four seconds, and if you haven't decided, well, there you go. I went with the fun game instead of the weird game. I'll save the weird game to start off the next episode. That's a promise. Ooh, looky here. Sorry, that's a seat. <laughs> that was also a seat. <laughs> but looky here. Eight hours of waiting for this pack to open. What do we get from it? We got 1,096 coin. Seven Yeti. That's a new one. New to me. Um, Blast Goblin. That's also... Oh, that's not a new one. Blast Goblin is really good. Stun Gun. 
laser cannon yeah that's from an eight hour pack not bad in fact how about in the next episode we check out this other eight hour pack that's when it should be done oh heck yeah i want to upgrade the yeti please tell me i got enough yep yeti upgraded you know what we can replace okay so the yeti just attacked you know what? i like to try him out though I'll replace the cannon might be a good idea oh wait Actually, that's not a good idea at all. We need the cannon. Dang, how much can I level this up? Oh. So, we'll replace... I'd rather replace the laser gun with the cannon. Okay. Now, let me show you how this game works. This is, um... I don't know what you call this game. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> they just... Oh, they're... This one you have to act fast on. So as you can see, I got an energy bar down here. And then we try to see if we can take up more of the map. I'm blue. They're red. I'm blue because I'm player one. Ooh, there we go. This is the cannon I was talking about. That's what they tried using on me. You know, I think it's time to set off a Yeti. Luckily, I threw a Batman in there. Boom. Yeah, make some room for the Yeti. Oh, man. But because I did that, it took like four points. Yeti's worth six points. Okay, so they got the electrifying one. Yeti time. Let's see what this Yeti does. Come on, show it. <laughs> Gosh, okay. Why does it got to go so close? Oh, cool, though. It changes the ground, though, too, with its attack. That's helpful. Throw one of these. Take that out. Yeah, let them free roam. Why not just... Oh, yeah, we got a dragon, too. Boom, the dragon's really helpful, see? It attacks and covers the ground. We need another Batman. Bam. We win. The one with the most color on the board wins. It's called We Win. No, it's not called We Win. It's actually called Color Clash. Now, even though this is a fun game, it's a very, like, you gotta sit there. Like, the only reason why I, I had to sit there and use, like, all my brain capacity. I, I don't know if that's the right term for it. Basically, all my knowledge in uh, tower defense games as I could just to be that good at that game. You see, I, told, I talked about this game in the last episode, I, I think this episode, Monkey Tower Defense Games. Um, so in that game, you have when you're playing against someone, you have to, whoever thinks faster, they're going to be the winner. That's what that kind of game is. Now, even though that game is fun, even Monkey Tower Defense Game, or Balloon Tower Defense, whatever, whichever it's called, even though that's fun too, the fact that you have to sit there on multiplayer and like, you know, push yourself as hard as you can play the game just to get a win that that brings down the score of course that's just how it is with me you know like I'd rather have fun to sit there you know have a long match instead of a short match where we both sweating and the thing is is because like I can have those long matches all day you know I could sit there five hours and have those long matches one after the other but when it comes to those quick matches where you have to push your brain and you know all the skill you got in though just one match it, I could only do that three or four matches then I have to take a break because I feel like I'm gonna have brain neurism or something pushing it too much but yeah that is the game color clash and I'm about to dash because that's just what it is well thanks for watching another episode of bad apps <sighs> like I said that's why I call this episode, that's why I call this series bad apps and not good apps. Because <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Like, okay, I'm not really. I'm mostly trying the ads. Well, not mostly. It's like 30% ads games that I'll try out for you all in this series. And then the rest is like games I just randomly pick on the uh, app store. Luckily, there's like 100,000 games to go through. Luckily lucky for you all 
not lucky for me because I gotta sit there and try to find a good game in that. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. Literally. Right? If anyone's watching that wants to see it, like an angry video game nerd episode, I, I put that in the title in the first episode to joke around, but then I was thinking people are gonna want it, so I'm gonna say it like this. Let's see, the worst, the crappiest game reward goes Tool Evolution Mine and Evolve. Congratulations, you have got the crap reward of the toilet bowl, the crappy, messy. Ugh. You got the plunger reward, so what? That's that's a tool for this game. Thanks for watching, and if you decide to play Tool Evolution, good luck. You might find it fun, you know. Don't forget. Yeah, I'm just you know trying to give my advice on these games, and honestly, I'm telling you, they're not such good games. Not too good for me. Not too good for you.